Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see, we have uh, same three, four colors. Sorry, five. <laughs> I can't count. Same five colors as we've been using the past couple paintings. We've got the Thalo Blue and then the Yellow Deep Lake Blue. And I cannot remember what that green is. It is light olive green. And then that deep pink purple is called Rouge. Not my idea of Rouge, but okay. It's a beautiful color anyhow. So we're going to do a swipe. I haven't done one in a really long time. I don't typically do swipes. Um, but we're going to try, try one. And it depends on how it turns out the first swipe. Probably going to do a swipe back. Um, but we're going to see how it turns out. And it's not going to be a swipe. It's going to be a swipe, swipe from this side down. But then from this side, we're probably not going to do it from the end. We'll probably do it from like part of the way up somehow. So we'll probably turn the whole painting around and swipe down. My swipe is a damp paper towel here. My little swiping tool. I like those because it doesn't pick up all of the paint, but it does pick up a good amount of it. Now, the paints here, they have silicone in them, except for the Thalo Blue here. It does not have silicone in it, but it does have a lot of Floetrol in it. It's probably 50% Floetrol, 50% paint, so equal amounts of both. Actually, it's probably got more Floetrol in it than that. Um, to thin it down a little bit and a hint of distilled, chilled water. Um, and then, of course, these have not quite nearly as much Floetrol and then a little bit of chilled distilled water. So we're going to go ahead and lay down our colors. And like I said, uh, we don't have much left. So I'm going to just sort of drizzle it around with my stick. Because I don't want it to, like I said, I don't have much left. I don't want it to glob up in one area. I'm sort of kind of hoping for like a, I don't know, undersea theme here. Now I am going to draw, draw the blue along these edges because, well, when you drag something across these canvases, they tend to catch these edges and make, and kind of pick up all the paint off the edges. But we'll see. This one I think we're just going to drizzle because we have quite a bit left of it. There we go. And we'll lay down another layer. This one I think we'll just go ahead and drizzle it too because I think it'll be okay. Just do it in thinner lines. But you do want your canvas covered as much as possible. There's that, and let's go with the magenta, which we don't have a lot left of, so we're going to use the stick. And I'm just going to keep layering these until I'm out of paint, because they really do need to cover every bit of that white canvas. more up here okay let's go back to our my fingers are really sticky let's go back to our green here go ahead and get the rest of it down Gonna be very orange, I think, under here. We got more orange and green, I think, than any of the other colors. Okay, 
Okay. Go ahead and put down the rest of the turquoise. Not much left of it. That's a little thick right there. Okay, get the rest of this rouge down. it except we still have a little bit left of the orange so we might as well go ahead and use that let's get it down on the canvas over there sort of filling the empty spots here That is it. Let's get these cups out of the way because we have wet paintings on the table and I don't want to take up any more space than I need to. Okay, there's our blue. We're going to move these out of the way. Okay, so now we have the blue here. Just give it a quick stir. We're just going to take it across the top here. drag it down this edge here. And this edge as well. Okay. I'll move that out of the way. Get our our damp napkin. Now you just want to set it down whoops carefully. <laughs> just barely in your blue. You don't want to um, drag it too much across the colors, but you do want it to settle in that blue. Come on. There we go. You want to make sure it's all pressed down before you begin. And then you want to go slowly. There we go. Look at the pretty. Now, I, <laughs> I was going to drag off that, but I don't know. I kind of, I'm kind of liking the solid over here. I'm going to wipe my hands off a little bit so I can torch this. I always have a wet rag on hand. I'm not really fond of that little that little cell right there, but it'll do. It's sort of my little underwater garden here. And you can see there's some paint up under here, but it's not actually bringing up any cells. I really don't like that one right there. That's really bothering me. So I want to see if just take like a uh, little spot of blue here and just sort of maybe do something. That's cool, Ma. Oh, thank you. That did not work well. Oops. Let's sort of see if I can blend it in a little better. Maybe if we take a piece of wet paper towel, this is probably going to be a mistake, but sort of drag that through there. I'm kind of picking up little pieces at a time. Okay, 
but I better leave that alone. There we go. Okay, we're gonna leave that. So I'm still trying to decide if um, if I want to drag it back that way. Yeah, that was the plan, so we're gonna do that. First, I'm gonna make sure my little edges are covered. Thank you. Nora, thank you. Oh, yeah, you can have your Easter candy. Okay, I um, want to get my sides with the blue real quick while I am thinking of it. Um, I mean, I'm trying to sort of decide how to do that. I think we're just going to pick up the blue off the table. And sort of Touch it to the side there. You know what? I think we'll do that in a bit. Let's go ahead and turn our turn our thing around because it's just got too much blue for me. And the whole idea was to take that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull. I'm going from from about here, kind of pull it back this way. But I really want sort of a jagged, I don't want it to be a perfect line. So I'm going to tear, I'm tearing my, my little paper towel here in a pat, you know, not really a pattern, sorry, I don't mean to say pattern. Just sort of a, a different line, if you will. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, I'll put it... <laughs> I'm a little afraid to do this now. Okay, we're going to do that. Interesting, so if we need something right there. So we're going to take our little little piece of, of napkin here and I'm just going to set it down and drag it from about right there. There. I kind of need it on that edge a little bit, I do believe. It's kind of bothering me, that little edge right there. So we're just gonna okay now well let's torch that baby <laughs> and now I just want to add some blue back to the edges here so that it will be finished on the edges and the sides. Hey Abby. Hey baby. What do you want, Abby? Huh? Is it time for your dinner? Is it time for your lunch? Huh? Hey, can one of y'all come feed the puppy dogs? Hold on, Thor. Hold on, buddy. My fingers are so sticky from this paint being on my glove. I'm having a hard time moving my little thing around. Are you ready to sit? Yes, I am. So, I'm going to put some on the edge here so it can run down. Just where I see it, where it's kind of white there. For me dragging most of the paint off with my uh, paper towel there. I'm going to go up this side here. Okay. There we go. Okay. And then a little bit more on this side. Let's see that we need to catch. That side is done. This side needs a little more love. Almost 
almost, almost, almost. Sorry, guys. Just want to make sure we get this before it starts drying. Because when you when you um, add paint later, if your paint has already sort of started to dry, it that little cell needs some paint in it. If your uh, paint starts to dry and then you go back and fix it, you can see it when you when your paint dries. You'll end up with like kind of a little lump. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But okay, there we go. That is all fixed there. I think this piece is done. It's kind of interesting, kind of underwatery, and we're gonna leave it. This is, I don't know. It's kind of neat looking. I was kind of hoping for a little more lacing down here. That was the idea. But that's okay. Heat it up. Sometimes that'll spread your paint out and give you a little more lacing. But you don't want to do this too much. So don't do it too much. Because sometimes your lacing will completely disappear. Alright, let me take my gloves off. And we'll bring it down for a little bit of detail. All right, so here is the bottom. You can see where you've got some lacing going on there and the cells, of course. Lots and lots of cells. I actually have two drops of silicone in this paint um, to help it, to help give it some more cells. As you can see, we dragged something across these paints twice and we don't have any mud. So there's the bottom part. I think that turned out pretty neat. And then we've got all our little cells, kind of like little raindrops coming down. Let's see if I can get it any closer. I don't, I'm almost fixing to put my hand in it. I haven't quite learned how to use the focus on my phone yet, so I apologize because it keeps going out of focus. I know. Don't even know if there's like an autofocus on this or what. There's got to be. This is a this is one of the new phones, the Samsung uh, Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G phone. So if any of you guys out there have one of these and you know how to use it, give me a few pointers, please. I love that little section right there. It's just pretty. All right, so. I think it turned out pretty cool. I might actually do another one of these at some point. Okay, guys, there is your pretty for today. It's actually a little, a hint brighter than it would be normally. I mean, this sort of, this is more orangey yellow than it is in the picture, and the blue is a little darker blue. I'm trying to figure out how to uh, adjust it here. All right, well, another time. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, and you can kind of see, you know, where I put the blue on the edges, uh, you know, before I swiped. It actually helps uh, because, like I said, um, if you don't put something along the edges, your paint, your your paper towel is going to pull off. You know, it's going to drag along the edge, and it's going to pull off whatever little paint you've got there. So you want to have something, a good bit of paint along those edges. Just make sure of that, and. Uh, Actually kind of helps pull the cells off the edge there, which is, I like that. That's kind of neat. So, there's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're happy and healthy and taking care of each other. and uh, Stay safe wherever you are. I love you all. Thank you for supporting my channel, watching the ads for me, and um, sharing. If you guys would like and share my videos and and uh, subscribe to my channel. That would help my channel out tremendously. It's sort of like in this weird holding pattern right now where nothing's really happening with it. Um, so if you guys could share my videos, like, you know, on your other social media, that would be awesome. All right, I love you guys. See you later, bye.